Hello, um, this is going to be a quick video on how I get ailment immunity, so elemental ailment immunity. Um, obviously I'm an occultist so I'm immune to being frozen and chilled, however this works for any ascendancy. Um, most important way to do this, well I say the most important thing to do is you want to buy a boot, pair of boots. So I always go for tier 1 spell suppression on an evasion base, if I'm playing an evasion based character, if I'm not playing an evasion based character I'd go for spell suppression on a hybrid armor base um, however this method works with any prefixes that you want on the boots so you can buy a f so any fractured prefix this will work with um, and essentially all we're doing is using deafening essence of torment and as you can see on the boots so belt um, or other jewelry or other armor as you can see um, 56 to 60 percent to avoid being shocked so what you can do in combination as you can see there's an exarch modifier obviously this one's a greater one because i don't need it on this character but the exarch modifier that gives you a chance to avoid being shocked can obviously be grand at 40 percent you can elevate it even further to about 45 percent if you wish to do so um however i don't need to do it on these boots but i thought i'd go over an example of what to do to craft them and it's really easy and you can guarantee good boots really really well um, these boots cost me about five divines to craft um, and they're tailored to my character it's everything i want on them obviously they're not the best but i couldn't find anything on the market that would give me everything i wanted um, and i was able to craft them fairly easily so you essentially just use the essences on your boots like so and you want to be looking out for any suffix that you want to keep on top of um, avoid being shocked so avoid being shocked is a suffix as well as resistances being a suffix so generally I go for avoid being shocked and attributes um, I find attributes sell the best you can craft profit doing this um, or like a t1 res and it's very very straightforward um, hopefully I get something in these essences okay so that's not the best but it will do so as you can see i've got 41 dexterity on these boots and as you can see i have a chance to avoid being shocked roll so what i'm going to do with these boots it's very very straightforward you go to the crafting bench you craft suffixes cannot be changed Okay, because we are saving the suffixes so we are saving the dexterity and we're saving the chance to avoid being shocked and obviously spell suppression is a suffix so we've got three suffixes full you then want to get a veiled chaos orb or an aisling if you don't have one i'll be back in a second when i have a veiled chaos orb okay so i'm back with the veiled chaos orb slight uh, oversight there so as you can see we've got suffixes that cannot be changed with the suffixes we want to keep so obviously we want to keep dexterity and we want to keep chance to avoid being shocked you craft suffix cannot be changed you hit it with a veiled chaos orb as you can see okay this is like the best possible outcome i did not expect that i veiled chaos orbed it and the veiled chaos orb has hit tier one knife of course it happens okay so obviously i've hit the tier one life prefix with the veiled chaos orb um you want to go to the crafting bench you want to craft mana this is obviously to keep a prefix open so you could craft life if you didn't hit that prefix you go to june you unveil the item and as you can see you will always get a guaranteed movement speed roll and as you can see we've got a pair of boots with two decent suffixes, an open prefix, so I can craft anything. I can craft hybrid onto these. So because it's an evasion base, I will just craft hybrid armor and evasion. Um, well, I'll just get a percentage evasion, even even better. As you can see, I spent about four divines crafting these boots. Um, and then what you want to do is go into your exotic tab. I've got some great ones, maybe I'll hit it in this. Um, and you just keep rolling until you get avoid being shocked so this is 37 to 38 so obviously it's not going to give me full immunity um, however if I was rolling these with grand 
on top of the suffix, I can easily get a total of 100% shock avoidance. We then combine this with the storm shroud. So as you can see, this storm shroud is a pretty good one. Obviously you're just doing it, buying it for the jewel. Modifiers to chance to avoid being shocked apply to all elemental ailments. So with this jewel and these boots, you have 100% elemental ailment immunity. Now these boots are pretty good. They've got movement speed, obviously. They've got an attribute, they've got spell suppression, and they've got tier one life. These boots are really good. I, I'm actually going to replace the boots that I, I have with these, um, but that was unexpected. Um, but as you can see, it's really, really straightforward and you can create really, really nice pairs of boots. Another thing as well, you can unveil the onslaught on kill. I haven't unveiled it, but it is a possibility. Um, and you can also brick your prefixes. So if you say I added two prefixes and I didn't add life with the veiled chaos, um, what would happen is you would have to start the process again. So you can get unlucky. Um, however, I think it's about a one in 12 chance with the veiled chaos orb for that to happen. So most of the time it's gonna be a pretty straightforward method. Um, but that's how I get ailment immunity on all of my characters. I think this in combination with Storm Shield is extremely powerful. Um, so I thought I'd make a quick video on it. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.